it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming on just to do a smash our stash with you for July and it is a free choice for July. So I decided on crepe paper. And if you're anything like me, um, your frustration with crepe paper is you have to buy these humongous rolls from Hobby Lobby or you have to buy two rolls from Dollar Tree. So either way, you're stuck with a ton of crepe paper. Um, one thing that I like to do with my crepe paper is create rosettes ahead of time. So that's what this bucket is. This is just a Dollar Tree basket um, that I picked up and I keep all pre-made rosettes in here. So, you know, I sit down at night, I watch a show and I just pump these out. Um, this has helped me so much in my crafting. Um, it's just one of those things where you know, you might need dimension or you need to add something to a project and to stop and make the rosette is sometimes inconvenient because you're just on a roll with what you're doing. So I appreciate having things like this pre-made. So if you've never made a rosette before, there are a thousand tutorials out there on YouTube. Just go ahead and Google crepe paper rosette or how to make a crepe paper rosette um, and you'll come up with a ton of different tutorials. Um, I have a couple ones in here that I just wanted to show you just because doing something a little bit different with the crepe paper gives you different results. So these here are rosettes that I made by hand. So you're just doing your hand pleating, you know, you're, you're folding and turning and folding and turning and folding and turning, you know, that's the start of your rosette. I do a crisscross staple in the middle. And then what I do as an extra step is I find something circular. Um, just for example, I'm just going to take some foam tape that I have here next to me. I'll put my wonky, you know, crepe paper rosette on here that's imperfect. And I will uh, just cut around it to make this perfect circle. So these are all, you know, perfectly circle rosettes here. And I have these in all different kinds of colors in here. It looks like I'm kind of getting low on my pink. So that would be something that I should refill on or um, create more on. But this is just one example. Another example, oops, another example is sewing your crepe paper rosettes. So that's going to give you a totally different look. Uh, they're going to look like this. They're much thicker. <clears throat> and you can do as many layers as you want but I like to do four layers on my rosettes. So if you count them, you can tell that there's four separate layers here. And that's just the thickness that I like. So that's gonna give you something that looks like this. So you can see that there's different sizes here. I actually even have a, a third size or a fourth size. <clears throat> Sorry, it looks like this. So this white one here is just sewing the crepe paper at the full width. So you can tell that that's the full width. Um, this one is a third fold up. Um, I think I have an example of that. Yep, so here, this, I just folded the, the crepe paper a third of the way up. You could also cut this if you wanted to cut it down. I don't mind having this little pleat here. It just gives it a little more dimension. So that doesn't bother me and it's easier than, than going and cutting it because you know, you're gonna start cutting uneven and the fold just looks fine. Um, so again, with this, I should mention all of these rosettes are 12 inches long. So you're going to do four layers of 12 inches, however, um, however you want to fold it. So that takes care of that one. This one was, no, that was the third fold here. This one is, I believe this one is folded in half. Okay, so I have crepe paper here just folded in half. So that's going to give you that. Um, and then this small one. I think is folded in thirds. So that one would be like this, but you're gonna give that extra third a fold over. So that's gonna be really tiny and it's gonna look like that. Um, just real quickly on the, um, the sewn rosettes, it's just a simple weaving stitch like this. It's in and out and in and out and you can just see how it's creating that pattern here already. So you're just gonna do that for the entire length, pull your thread through and tie it together. Um, you know, these edges look so nice. You don't even have to glue them together. You can see that that is where I tied the thread right there, um, but they come together perfectly. So these are my preferred way to go. It gives you a lot more dimension. It makes uh, things a little bit chunkier when you're using them. 
um, and they just they just take maybe a little bit longer to do just because you are um, sewing and tying and making knots and that's you know that just takes a little bit of time so one of the things I've seen people do is make their rosettes into a shape um, one of the ways to do this is um, by using a punch or a die. So I had gotten this big punch out. I had picked this up at a garage sale. It's an older punch. You know, it's just got this much room in it and I can't fit a rosette in there. So this wouldn't work for me. Um, I don't know if there's other punches out there that give you a little more clearance that you're able to do, but that would be really cute to just, you know, you could punch this into this really cute floral shape. So um, I did get out my dies and I have a heart die and uh, I ran this through the die cutter and I think it looks so cute. I really love how that turned out and I've never done that before. So this is just a regular handmade rosette that I just put my, you can see it just fits in there perfectly. Um, and it even gave that stitching look um, on it. So I just love how that turned out. I'll definitely be punching or using my die machine on a few more of these. So. Um, just gonna put that in there to use. So another thing you can do with your crepe paper is make these little crepe paper flowers. Um, this isn't my idea. I'll link the video below where I learned it from, but they're so easy. All you're gonna do is take six layers of crepe paper, staple them together, and cut it in a circle shape. So that's all it is, staple in there. You're gonna take each layer, you're gonna gather it up and scrunch it in the middle. You don't have to be perfect. Um, you don't have to be careful if you're scrunching too much. No matter what you do, they turn out looking adorable. So you're gonna do that to all six layers. Just keep scrunching. So keep scrunching and keep scrunching. And then you open it up and you've got this adorable little cray paper flower. So these little guys clustered together look amazing. Um, you know, just think of all these little colors together, how cute that would be for Easter or summer projects. I love making these. This is my last one that I have, so I need to definitely make some more of those. The last thing I want to talk about for cray paper is creating little trims. Um, these are perfect as bag toppers or um, you know, I've ran one along the side of like a pocket letter to finish the edge off. You could use them on memory decks cards, you know, as background. But this is basically just taking crepe paper and this has tool on the back. You don't have to use the tool, but I basically just pushed it through my sewing machine, scrunching it up along the way and just straight stitching right down the middle. So that was that little pink one. You could do this, you know, a yard at a time, two yards at a time, three yards at a time and just keep it in your stash. Um, so that's what I did here. These are the last two pieces that I have. So I definitely need to make some more. Um, this one I had stuck some stickers on. I was going to use it as a bake to topper, but I decided not to, but I kept the stickers on there so I could use it for something else because I think it looks just so adorable. Um, yeah, so this is just crepe paper and tool together. So again, this is stuff that I just keep in my stash and I can pull it out anytime that I need to use it. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If you do decide to smash your crepe paper, I'd love to see it. Uh, use the hashtag on Instagram, smash our stash 2021. Um, also check out the other ladies link down below to see what they decided to smash for July. Thank you guys for watching.